Last time on The Legend of Dragoon. the music right now. What on earth is this? I can't believe this! What are you doing? Go back to your stations and check on the damages. Hmm. A heraldry. It looks like a royal ship of Melisezu. Is this like a phantom ship? Oh boy. Commodore, bad news! He got the engine room. Kayla, let them hurry to fix it. Aye aye, sir. We cannot pursue Linus like this. Sometimes the ocean shows its But I have never seen such a thing. Wait for a while. There is nothing we can do now. This ship is... Dart! I can't find Shauna anywhere! Yeek! Shauna? Where am I? Who are you? What? Yeah. Whoa. Shauna! Did those ghosts just like defend her? Why did you come here? I don't know. When I woke up, I was in here. But those knights protected me. They are gone though. At least you are safe and sound. Come on! Come on! We're here already, so might as well just take some tour here. No way. I want to go too. I don't know why, but I want to know about the ship. Oh, please. We'll go with them. Then it won't be a problem. Okay, but if anything happens, we got to go back. I'm going to head back to the Queen's Fury, because that's actually the important thing right now. We can hop over right there. We can talk to Pewler if we want. We have to fix the engine room. The only thing we can do now is wait. Uh, oops, did not mean to do that. We don't want to explore Queen's Fury just yet. Talk to this guy if we so choose. I can share the weapons and items we have in the freight. Go down the stairs if you want to rest. If you want to rest, go to the cabin over there. All right, so we want to go this way and rest. So this is, we're still technically on Queen's Fury, but we can't explore it like we could before. Uh, but this is a free rest point, so obviously you can use that to restore all your health, which is why we didn't do that earlier. Um, and also, there is a weapon depot that we can check out here. And we can see that we have a glaive, a beast fang, which we already got in Hatchel way long ago, if you remember, like as soon as we had Hatchel. Uh, we also, they sell stun guards and magic ego bells, which uh, avoids the abnormal status bewitchment. And stun guards obviously avoid abnormal status from being, uh, from being stunned. 
Uh, we're going to pick up a glaive here because this is one of the uh, first times that we can actually buy one. We have a twister glaive, but then there's another glaive. There's also the item depot here that you can check out. Which has some very useful magic items here. Some translite and some dancing rays. We want to pick those up. Dancing rays, this is one of the uh, one of two areas in the entire game that you can actually buy dancing rays and translite. You'll actually remember before I said that we wanted to stock up on dancing rays because we wouldn't see them again for quite some time. This is that quite some time. Uh, so we want to pick those up. Both of those are going to be super useful on the phantom ship because almost all of the enemies on the phantom ship are dark type enemies. Okay, we're saved. We're stocked up. We're good to go. Uh, change of plans, though. I'm actually going to put Shauna and Rose in my party, uh, mostly because I feel like... Uh, I kind of feel like this... This this, it, this is their story, uh, this, this area here. The Phantom Ship, which we finally are going to explore, uh, and I, I'm, I'm very excited to check it out. There is a lot of things to talk about in this episode, uh, one of which is in this room here, uh, but we'll come back to it. First, I want to show you the power of grinding in this particular area. That is super, super important. See these little flames right here? There are no random encounters whatsoever on the Phantom Ship. However, all of these uh, blue flames, these wisps that will be floating around are on contact uh, battles. They are collision battles, which means that you can actually stand still and always be put into a fight, which is actually very very helpful if you're as lazy as i am so the first enemies that we're coming across right now are the will o wisp which are fire elementals not that it matters and skeletons which are darkness elementals also doesn't matter so the big reason why you want to grind here is because like i said we're able to buy dancing rays and trans lights right over on queen's the queen fury and also we have uh we also have the the free rest area which means that we can literally Die. We can literally Hardly. heal up for free, meaning this is literally the one of the best areas to grind. You're not going to get the best stuff, uh, and you're not going to get the most XP in the game, but it is safe, it is easy, uh, and that's a really big deal, especially because Shauna can throw out one Dancing Ray and literally kill anything that we find here on the Phantom Ship. It does so much damage. Those Will of Wisp have 160 health. The uh, the skeletons have 200 health. So obviously you saw that we were we were able to beat those with without any real issue. 156 experience, 45 gold, meaning that we actually are making gold by doing these, even if we have to use a dancing ray every single turn, right? Uh, absolutely incredible. Very very easy, and obviously they'll just spawn. They'll just respawn. Now, we can't get into this door that's right here. I thought I would just show this real quick. It's locked and it doesn't open. So what we actually want to do is if you try to head this way into this area here, we'll see that there are a ton of wisp stopping us from proceeding. And also, there's a locked door at the end here. Captain, please open here. Where are you, Captain? Hmm seems strange we can't go that way just yet what is happening here what happened to this poor phantom ship huh help me the bastard the bastard is i don't want to die help what we we can't make it We'll be killed by him. I don't want to die. Help. What are they talking about? What happened here? So we're going to go ahead and let this uh, this wisp pass. Even though, like I said, this is this is a fantastic area to level. And I, we, trust me, we're going to be spending more time than I care to admit here in this area. Ah, what was that that just ran away? So these are pretty skippable. You can, you can kind of avoid those ones and go into this room here. Now, these are forced battles. You're going to have to do these no matter what. But if we come up here and we go to this chest, we're following that, that purple booger. Yeah! 
and he is going to spawn these three skeletons. We have to fight these no matter what. Like I said, though, it ain't no thing because Shauna can just go ahead and use a dancing ray and end their lives forever, which is actually glorious. And I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Shauna's power. She is she is the best. And it's also her turn right away, which means that we can make this fight real simple. Dancing Ray, boom, done. Call it a day, throw it away, team. Even if you mess up like I did, we'll still do 673 damage. Ah, easy peasy. Those guys are out of here, man. They do have a 2% chance of dropping a broadsword, which is this the weapon that Dart starts the game with. Obviously not a huge deal. Albert there just leveled up, which is pretty nice. Uh, the skeleton's super easy. Will-O-Wisp, super easy. But the will o do have a chance of dropping a spirit potion, if I'm not mistaken. 8% drop chance, which uh, is actually very good. So if you're grinding, you're also getting those spirit potions. You want to save those for characters that aren't in your active party. Uh, and there is another enemy that we haven't encountered just yet. And that is called death. But I'm actually, before we head into the next door in this hallway, I'm actually going to run back and save real quick uh, because we're going to be resetting quite a bit here for those, those purple guys. The cool thing about this hallway is that anytime that the screen reloads, the wisp will spawn in. You can actually freely run in that time period. So even if you're not very good at, any, at doing those, you can, you can just kind of run through. Makes it very nice and simple. All right, we have another chest over here. Uh-oh. Now, this is why I'm resetting, because this is the Magician Bogey. There are literally four encounters with these in the entire game, and they have a 2% chance of dropping a magical hat. So I, of course, being me, and this being a 100% completionist run, I feel like we need to get this item from these guys. So the next chance we have of getting a magical hat or magician's hat, I believe it's magical hat, is in uh, disc four in a, in a town that we can go to. So um, we don't really wanna, we wanna get it now, right? So the magician bogey, darkness type 800 health, meaning a dancing ray is not actually going to be enough to end their lives. Which is too bad because they also do a bunch of status afflictions, which really stink. So we're going to need a translite or um, or two dancing rays to actually take these things down. So it's Shauna's turn right away. We're going to go ahead and use a dancing ray just to get rid of the skeletons. There is also a rumor, and I believe I've talked about this before during the series, but there is also a rumor that enemies have a higher chance of dropping something if you use magic attacks to finish the battle i don't know how true that is uh i haven't really done any extensive testing regarding that so i mean take that take that with a big old grain of salt you know what i'm saying a lot of damage though coming out of dart against the the magician bogey Let's see. There we go. So we did end up getting a status affliction out on uh, on Shauna, but hopefully, hopefully Rose can finish it off. Or if not, Dark can, because apparently I can't do any additions today. Again, this is another force fight, so we're probably going to be resetting this quite a bit. Let's see. Let's hope not, right? Let's. Maybe I'll get really lucky, and it'll 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 give me it'll give me a magical hat right away. It. It didn't. All right. As as always, uh, it took a little bit longer to grind out this magical hat than I thought it would. But we did get a magical hat from uh, this encounter, which is just the one uh, magic, the ma one magician bogey. Uh, the next encounter that we get to do. Remember, I said that there are only four of this enemy in the entire game. It ran away. The next encounter is actually three of them. So. I don't really recommend spending the time to to grind this one out, although it wasn't too bad. It was like an hour or so. Um, you're probably better off. I'm going to see. Oh, I didn't get through. Wait, wait, wait. Let me go save and I'll be right back. Okay, as I was saying, I don't really recommend spending all that time on just that one Magician Bogey fight uh, because, it, again, it's only one, right? The battle that we're about to be forced into, no matter what, is three Magician Bogey fights or three magician bogeys in one fight, meaning that obviously uh, the chances of getting the, the hat are increased by, you know, three times, which is pretty substantial. Right here, we can get 20G. We got 50G in the chest outside. And then right here, this is this is the one I recommend uh, resetting for if you don't get it. This, 
is uh is it trying to say something this is the fight against three magician bogeys coming out of this you'll also see something sparkling on the other side but we'll talk about that in a second we cornered it we got three purple boogers with mustaches let's go now i'm going to show you a way to make this fight super simple uh this can be kind of challenging because these guys do do a do do <laughs> a bunch of status effects uh on us so what we're gonna do here is uh we're gonna end this in one turn with shauna if you do not have shauna maxed out dragoon level then i would say that you can use uh we're actually just gonna attack so that she can work on her additions uh you can use two dancing rays from shauna so use a speed up if it's not her turn and then two dancing rays from her will be enough to seal the deal here uh but we're not going to do that we're actually going to i'm just going to guard with dart and hopefully it's going to be shauna's turn without getting uh any status afflictions or anything like that all right and boom i love this transformation so much it's just beautiful And she is going to end this battle really, really quick. And you'll actually see that this is not the not the only time she's going to do something crazy like this. So we're going to go ahead and use her white silver dragon against all three magician bogeys. This is the first time that we're actually seeing one of our dragoons maxed out spell. Nine hundred and forty-eight damage done to all three, and of course we get healed up. That, my friends, is the power of Shana. Now let's hope for the best. Hope that we got the magical hat. Oh, finally. After I don't even know how many resets, we finally, finally, finally got a magical hat to drop from the three magician bogeys. And it took me so long, uh, but it but it finally happened. Oh my, guys, I'm just, listen, I'm just, ha oh, oh my God. It has been like 12 hours or something of farming this over and over. But we finally did it. We have two Magician's Hats from this. And uh, we'll get a third later in the game. So I consider that uh, a complete... Completeness. Complete completeness. Yeah. I have a favor to ask you. Please come to the captain's cabin. Hmm. What is... The, what is... But what is that... What does that mean? Pretend I got this chest. Uh, and this, finally, now I can explain to you this sparkling bit. So if we go ahead and examine this, we will get four ghosts that will appear. Each of them will give us a number. In this case, we have zero, five, zero, which is very good, and eight. Having two of the same number make the puzzle very, 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 uh, simple. May evil come to the person who attempts to solve the riddle of the number. The riddle of the number. Now we can head on out. We want to head to the captain's uh, thing, but before we do that, we're actually going to save because, uh, obviously that is probably a little bit better of an idea, uh, than running ahead considering how long it took me to get the magician's hat. Guys, it legitimately took me so, so long. And I'm just really happy we don't have to do that anymore. So we're going to head this way. Woo! Almost got hit by that Will-O-Wisp, but we did not. All right. So this is where we have to go. This room right here, now that we have the four numbers. Uh, for the mini chest, or for the chest mini game that I'm sure a lot of you are <laughs> as nervous as I am about. We'll have to do it five times. So we're actually not going to buy anything just yet. Uh, I'm going to make sure I save the game. So the big thing with this mini ch mini game here, this, this chest, is there are five items that we can potentially get from this. 
uh you have a certain number of tries that you can actually enter in the combination so first let's go ahead and look at it there are three numbers should we combine the numbers that those ghosts were saying and input them there yes we want to arrange numbers now there you only have three digits that you can enter but of course they gave us four these will be in they can be in any order so they gave us zero five zero and eight this could be zero zero five this could be zero eight five this could be any combination of those three so what we're going to do is we're actually going to enter uh zero five eight here for our first uh our first one there is going to be a little bit of a hint as to if any of the digits are in the right place and hopefully we get lucky so the first time that we do this uh we have 10 tries to get this right and if you do that you'll get a stun guard next time we have eight tries to do it right and we'll get a panic guard six tries and we'll get a magic ego bell four and we'll get a talisman and finally two if we do this within two tries after we've gotten all of the other items we will finally get the ultimate war god which is a very good item to have uh it's not something that i personally use because i like to do my additions myself but it is, it is very very good cost ten thousand uh gold in lohan and it automatically completes additions because this is a complete run through walk through whatever you want to call it i consider this uh mandatory uh for 100 percent completion so uh we're gonna we're gonna try and we're gonna hope for the best here so we have plenty of tries to get it on this one we have two digits which obviously means uh we're in a good spot so we'll do zero five eight it doesn't open dot 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 actually means that uh the numbers are one of the digits or more is in the correct spot so i'm actually going to change the eight to an uh, another zero and it works i don't know how i knew but i knew baby all right so we got a stun guard and now we need to do this <sighs> as many times as we we have to do we have to do this it's gonna be a pain in the butt uh every time that you finish doing the chest it's going to reset when you leave the room and i recommend saving every time that you that you uh that you input the command now i've also heard that the combination resets every time that you reload the game uh so that isn't really an option um uh, but we have credit for the first one so definitely save in between each one uh i'm actually going to we're gonna we're gonna finish this now uh actually you know what i have a better idea so we got that the first time and now we're gonna go uh continue the story of the phantom ship up to a certain point and then i'm gonna obviously grind out the rest of what i need to do uh for those we gotta watch out for this wisp there we go we want to head over here this is where the captain's room is now again you could skip these by carefully walking in the path but uh i'm probably not gonna be able to do that So because you'll probably get into one of these battles because they're very hard to avoid uh, i'm gonna show this one it'll be it'll be very very easy there we go we got a death enemy uh not sure if i've shown this on camera yet because literally i've done i've fought so many of these uh, at this point that it's actually ridiculous so shauna of course is going to use a dancing ray i haven't done any grinding yet in this uh in this playthrough um so i will be doing that as well off screen so you guys obviously don't have to uh to watch that but i'm gonna do a little bit of grinding might as well easy peasy there i definitely want dart to get madness hero and i would like i would like rose uh to finish learning hard blade or to max out hard blade obviously dart is super super close to level 22 when he actually gets madness hero which is a difficult addition for me now we can run forward into the captain's room because the door is now open Hmm? Wow, a portrait of a beautiful woman. It seems like the queen of some country. Uh-oh. It closed by itself. Please, help me. Hmm? He killed the crew. Nanny. Knights, me and the newborn princess. Him, 
The Black Monster. What? This was done by the Black Monster too? We couldn't protect the princess, so we couldn't finish dying. Please, destroy the fear. Please send the souls of the knights to rest. Ugh. It's impossible to fully die. He kills people for no reason. Hmm. The black monster, man. We got to deal with that guy. Anyways, we got 100 G there. 100 G, lots of G's here. And also something sparkling here that we can pick up, which is the key of the phantom ship, which unlocks the last door right near where we were looking. But we can go ahead and look at this portrait again if we so choose. That portrait reminds me of somebody. Hmm. I don't know who. Doesn't really remind me of anybody. I don't know. Then again, on this game, how could you even tell? Literally, though, this room is actually incredible. Uh, I really, really love just the Phantom Ship and how they've done everything and how creepy and atmospheric it actually feels, especially considering the graphics that this game's actually working with. So if you got the right Wisp, you can actually skip all of these on your way back. Uh, that's going to be pretty hard for us to do. Uh, never mind. <laughs> all right, so... Hmm. These guys again. We won't give you Princess Luvia. Rose! We'll protect her even if it costs our lives. Princess Luvia. After counting 108 years, when the moon that never sets glows red, a moon child descends upon the earth to fill the world with holy bliss. However, what was actually brought was the child of destruction, the black monster. We're witnessing a tragedy from the past. It's awful. Why did it have to do this? The black monster. How much does he have to kill before he satisfies himself? Stop it! Hmm? Sorry. What was I thinking? Let's move on. You want to know, don't you? Huh. So weird. So don't use this door yet, uh, because it's it's going to lead to uh, kind of a boss fight, and also uh, we, we don't need to head there just yet because uh, we gotta we gotta do this chest as many times as possible. But I'm gonna save first because we're already obviously pretty far in and now i'm gonna show you guys every single successful chest open let's get hit it future cory that's editing this all right next one here we go this is number two for the panic guard we have eight attempts to do this in our numbers are one one two five something to keep in mind is that if you uh if you actually don't do this in the amount of tries let's actually do two five and the amount of tries that it gives you, you have to face the three skeletons that you can see on the ground. It doesn't open. All right, one of the digits is in the right place. Let's do one, one, five. All right, so one of these, either the one or the five is right. So let's go one, one, two. One, one, two, we got it on the third try. We get a panic guard. All right, next. All right, attempt uh, on the, this is the third one. Uh, our numbers are four, five, five, eight. And this is all for the magic ego bell. So let's do uh, five, five, four. It doesn't open. One of our numbers is correct. We're actually getting pretty lucky. So let's do five, five, eight. Perfect. Second try. Watch, guys. I'm going to get to the one where we have to do it within two tries for the ultimate war god, and it's not going to happen. I know it. I can feel it in my bones. Uh, remember to be saving in between each of these just in case, you know, anything goes wrong. Uh, this way, you just, you know for a fact that you have it. Hopefully, if I have explained this in the right way, um, I think, I think, I think 
I think the way I've explained it makes sense. Like we've we've been really lucky in the examples so far where I've said like, okay, uh, I know I'm gonna assume that this one's wrong. It helps having the double digits, of course, uh, but but I've been able to whittle it down and be like, okay, say we have uh, three, four, five put in there. Um, and we get the we get the code back that one of the digits is right. So we take the three out and we put like a, a two or something in there. And then we get it back and there's nothing that fits. Then we know that what we just took out was the number that belongs. I think that makes sense. And hopefully you guys get it. I'm not gonna over explain it, but uh, yeah, that's, that's the idea. But in that random encounter, Dart hit level 22 and learned Madness Hero. Uh, also, I do recommend stocking up on those dancing rays now, uh, because if you're doing this like I am, we're going to have to keep running through this gauntlet over and over, and odds are you're going to get lazy and you're going you're gonna to bump into one of those wisps. All right. This is uh, the, the, the fourth time that we're opening this. We only have four tries for the talisman. Now, <laughs> you guys aren't going to believe the numbers that I just got. All right? And if this is correct... I am going to y'all y'all owe me a like, okay? If this is listen, if this is right, like come on. Okay, all right. Literally their numbers that they gave me are 00, 0, 0, 0, 0 4. So, we have to put in a 4 here. Okay. Well, we know that one of those is right. So, let's take out uh let's put this back as a 0. And uh, let's do a four here. There we go. We got it. Talisman. Four. Guys, four out of five done already on this. I can't believe we got so lucky that they gave us zero, 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 four. That's ridiculous. One more. All right, team. This is our potentially could be our last one. Our numbers are 0656. Six. We have two tries to do it, so let's go ahead and do 056. All right? One more time. All right, so that means that none of them were in the right position. So let's go with uh we'll do we'll do 6 there. We'll do uh 6 here and something something's telling me a 5. Something's telling me a 5 right here. Nope. Well, that was our first fail, but we get to see the skeleton laughing and we get to destroy three. Oh, yeah. All right, we have a pretty good chance on this one. We have two, four, two, six are our numbers now. It's taking me a little bit longer than I care to admit. So let's do two, four, and six. Doesn't open. Dot, 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 though. Something was in... Something was correct. So let's go with the two. And let's go two, four, two. Yes! We got it! The ultimate war god! Go, oh, baby! Okay, I thought that was going to take way longer. Uh, and that actually wasn't too bad. I did... Hang on, let me check. One, two, three, four. On my fifth... My fifth uh, attempt at this, on the ultimate war god, I was able to get it. So, everything else we got in one shot. Uh, the panda guard, the magic eco bell, the stun guard, the talisman. Uh, and then this one took me five. So, actually, I was... I was, I have been stressed out about getting here this entire time. And honestly, that wasn't bad at all. The chest will reset, and any time that you try to open it now, you'll get 100 gold from it. So, uh, it is now useless. We have completed it. We are done with it. Uh, I highly recommend saving your game resting. We are going to finish up the ghost ship now. Guys, I'm so happy. I thought that was going to take me so very long, and it didn't. And I, oh man, I am a happy... I am a happy lad. All right, we'll go ahead and we'll buy uh, a couple more dancing rays there. We have enough. We got two magician's hats from this run. We got everything out of the uh, out of the 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 mini game chest there, uh, and now we're finally going to use the key on this door. The lock is opened. All right, guys, get ready for a battle. I highly recommend having Shauna in your team right now and uh, getting her ready to use a dragoon. So let's go ahead and open this chest here, which contains a bravery amulet. Huh? You black monster. 
How dared you come here pursuing Princess Lufia? But as long as we are here with her, we are not going to give her up. We're not the black monster, we are... How dare you, monster, using human words to fool us! Unforgivable. Even if it costs my life, I won't give up our Princess Lufia. Here we go, the battle, the boss battle of the uh, Phantom Ship. This is going to be against a knight, a ghost knight, well, four ghost knights, and a ghost commander. The ghost commander having 2,000 health, the ghost knight only having 200 every single one here. So Shauna's gonna start off the fight right away by using a translate on the uh, ghost commander. Now, here's the thing about this fight. If you kill the ghost knights, but not the ghost commander, they will just resurrect uh, the next time it's their turn. So you have to kill them all at the same time. That is the only way to win this fight. That translate out of Shauna there was able to do 929 damage uh, to the ghost commander. Now I'm gonna make this fight as simple as possible. I'm gonna throw up another uh, speed up on Shauna here. And we're gonna end this fight real quick. In fact, there is a good potential that I might not even have had to do that. We're gonna go ahead and uh, and actually just, uh, well, you know what? Might as well get Hardblade in here, right? Might as well get a free edition. We didn't need to attack with Rose at all there. She could have just thrown a material shield on Shauna, but Shauna is going to transform into a Dragoon yet again, and she is going to use the White Silver Dragon to make short work of this fight. Now, potentially, I haven't tested this. Because we have our special available, uh, she might have been able to pop her special, which gives light damage. Uh, it increases light damage, right, whenever a special is used because of the terrain. And she might have been able to end this on one turn. Uh, I'm, that, that is totally possible. We'll see right now how much damage the White Silver Dragon is capable of doing. Absolutely dominated. Nineteen hundred damage to every single ghost knight. Fifteen hundred damage to the ghost commander, which means it actually wouldn't. It potentially would have been enough. I'm not sure, uh, but we made sure that we dealt with that the fastest way possible. That was a very clean fight. Very good. You will always get a knight raid from that fight. Uh, in six thousand experience, uh, we left Dart up for this one just because there really wasn't enough time to knock him out. Everybody uh, in the party got a level, and Kongol in the reserves also got a level. Albert and Miru actually got one while we were doing the uh, the chess mini game. Uh, princess, princess, Shano, it's over. There is no more black monster. Oh, please, please suffer no more. You, you are. I, I, uh, thank God you made it, Princess Luvia. W wait. Is there still something that I don't know about? Hmm? The door is open. Did they, did they think Shauna was Princess Luf Luvia? from Milasezu? That's weird. So this is officially your last time to uh, go back and, and try to and try to grind anything out. Uh, and if, if you want to do that, which I, I would recommend, this is a great place to grind out some additions, to grind out XP, you got the free restore point. Uh, this is your last chance to do it here on the Phantom Ship. Once you're satisfied with your uh, grinding, which trust me, I am. I'm very satisfied. In fact, Albert got a level. He's now 22 and uh, uh, Hatchel hit level 24. More importantly, though, I've been working on Madness Hero, which is now 58 out of 60. And uh, Rose just learned her final addition 
Demon's Dance. I got Hardblade all the way up, and now we are moving on to Demon's Dance, which is very, very cool. I was also working a little bit on Albert's Gust of Wind Dance, and as usual, I'm me, so I nailed it once. <laughs> uh, and also, uh, Kongol got his Pursuit wrapped up and hit Dragoon level three. So I, I, I've, I'm pretty satisfied with grinding here at the moment. So as soon as we're done, we'll head into this door here for the climax to the Phantom Ship. Well, after we grab this item, of course, a dancing dagger. What is, what is a dancing, what is a dancing dagger, I wonder? Could that be maybe a weapon for Miss? Oh my gosh, it is a weapon for Rose. Of course, this one doesn't have a darkness-based attack, but it is stronger and, uh, and we'll equip that on Rose right away. And then as soon as you're ready, let's examine this, this little crib here. Princess Luvia, she was still young. If she wasn't a princess of Milisezu, there wouldn't this wouldn't have happened. Princess of Milisezu? Oh my, you are alive! Oh Lord, it was not in vain. I have been wandering for eighteen years and longing for you. I can now end everything. I can go to the place where everyone is. Wait, what kind of relationship do I have to this person? Huh? Oh, oh God! The ship is sinking. We gotta go! Uh, so apparently the nanny was the one keeping this ship uh, haunted and, 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 and we gotta go! Everything is fixed and under control in the engine room now, sir. Now, let's relax and wait for Dart and the others to come back. Hmm. Whoa! Kayla, get ready, quick! Everyone, hurry up! Big ass Congo running through. Hatchel's off, Shauna. Dart, Rose, quick, quick! Miru! Dart! I'm here. Let's go, we're the last ones. Oh no! Whoa! Rose, let go! You gotta live! This is the same as back then. No! I won't let go, Jack! I will never ha- I will never let it happen again! Rose? Dart! Rose! Start! Commodore Pooler, pull out the life raft, quick! 